Hello everyone, it's Jennifer and thank you so much for joining me today. I have made it no secret that Neelay Patel from Silver Silk and More, he is just, he's one of my favorite people and he's so, uh, he's an amazing designer. He is the owner, educator, and designer for Silver Silk and More. And if you've not seen Silver Silk before, you're in for a treat because we're going to open up my latest order and I did order some of his new June pop-up shop items which are going to be packed with a bunch of beads. I'm also going to show you some other little goodies I've received as well as how I store all of my findings from Silver Silk and More. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dive on in. So the first thing I have to say is that it his order the packages come in a real sturdy i mean this box does not bend and it is just very very secure and when you open it up you have we have some looks like we have some capture chain some pipe chain and some pearlesque chain oh and look at that look how much i got tons of gold capture chain and then we have pop-up shop we have some pop-up shop items I did um this is two orders in one I had ordered and then I said I was gonna order again and that he could just pop the two orders in together so that's what he has done so I have some from May and then this is all for June let's get this all out Oh my goodness. So for May that he still had available. Oh, look at these. These are like five millimeter faceted gemstones and they are absolutely beautiful. I can't remember if they're turquoise, turquoise, or I feel like they are turquoise. Is it African turquoise? I feel like they were. I'm going to cut off some of the string here. So it's not all in the way for you. And they are just beautiful. I have another strand of these. I have two more strands. And I had to get them because they are just so beautiful. I love a faceted gemstone. So pretty. Okay. The video is going to be a little choppy because I am still nursing this cold. And I have to cough or sniffle or whatever. And so it might seem a little choppy. I am going to zoom in a little bit so that all of this isn't showing. All right. Okay, so we have some leather. And this is, I think, two millimeter leather that is... Uh, it has the wire knitted around it, and it is just absolutely stunning. I love it because you can still use it as leather. Um, let me grab a pair of earrings I made. So this is leather, and this was inspired by another one of his projects that he had done that's very similar. But I used leather on this one here with the double strand cord ends, and then used some Jesse James beads beads and just used a head pin, a bald head pin with their gorgeous bead caps and did a little bit of mixed metal with some antique brass and some shiny gold. And this is his antique gold color and it's just stunning, stunning, stunning. Beautiful. So you can maneuver around with the with the leather, the wire knit, the wire knitted leather just like you would a leather bracelet. This here is called pipe chain. And it is a silicone hollow tubing that it has wire knitted around it. Um, he does disclose that if you have any allergies to latex or rubber, that this probably isn't the isn't the product for you. But again, you can. Uh, he has his uh, leather too, if you want to use that. And you can just you can stuff it. So you can stuff your pipe chain with this is. This one's 18 gauge, and 18 gauge is about the most I've been able to get through. I haven't tried a 16 gauge, but 18 gauge is the most I've tried. But you can also use, let's dip into some of his findings. These are all his findings. As you can see with these pipe chain end caps, his jump rings and lobster clasp, they're all the same 
you know, tone, the same colors, the same plating. What you would do is, I don't have any more silver, I'm out of silver. So I'll just grab an antique gold. And what you would do is you can just put that on top and look how beautiful that goes over. You can add your beads. I've also, I think the majority of what I've used it for is why, uh, memory wire, using memory wire. And I did, um, when there was a, we had a Jesse James Beads make-along, and it was for the May Magical Mystery Bead Box, and I made a bracelet using some pipe chain. And so I have two orders here of the pipe chain. And then I have an order of the leather. Something else I do is I save these cards, and when I send him a little goodie, a little goodie um, box full of candles or whatever he's um whatever he's needing i'll include those cards too and this here is a full 25 foot spool of gold capture chain and so it has a silver ball chain underneath with the gold wire knitted over it and again you can use something like these are single strand end caps and let me see if I can find an end. Let me see if I can find the end. Here's one end. And you just prime the end like I did with the pipe chain just by squeezing it between your index finger and your thumb. And it just has, it just has, it just forms, the wire forms around that last ball. And then you would just stuff it into this end cap. This end cap then is closed and I use a flat pair of pliers, flat nose pliers. And these flat nose uh, pliers are dipped in tool magic so that I can just crimp this all closed. Nice secure closure, you don't need any glue, but I'm not also going to be ruining my finding with using metal on metal. There's little teeth inside that grab onto the ball. You can also use these for the leather and the pipe chain fits really well. Those are single strand end caps. Okay, let's get this large, this large order. Like I said, this is a full, you can buy them three feet, six feet, and 25 feet. All right, then we have Again, we have some more of the capture chain. This one has like a like a green, olive green, forest green wire knitted over a gunmetal ball chain. Beautiful. Then we have some silver ball chain with like a green or sea foam knitted over it. We have some pipe chain that is has like that gray gunmetal. Now this here, this one is different. This one is pearlesque. And what makes this one pearlesque? If you look at it, can you see all the little rainbow colors? There's different colors of pearlesque chain. And what it has is not only does it have the ball chain. Oh, actually this is pipe chain. But the pearlesque has like a tinsel that is woven along with the wire over the hollow tubing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love all those colors. Okay, and so we have more of the pearlesque pipe chain, and then we have pearlesque capture chain. This one here, again, you'll see it's more, it's more flowy. The pipe chain is more stiff. This one's more flowy, and this one has a silver ball chain with all of that gorgeousness knitted over it. Look at the different colors. So this is a pearlesque chain and it's just absolutely stunning. Love it. Look at how it's gonna go with all these different colors. Look with this yellow. Look at with this red. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And even look at these guys. 
Look at those with the little hearts. So cute. Then we also have blue. And that's stunning. Okay, and then what else do we have? We have a larger size. And this color, it's kind of, this one's more red. This one's more kind of salmon. And then look at this. Now these, there are some that might not be available since it was a pop-up shop. And pop-up shops are usually a limited, limited edition, limited quantity. And so what you want to do is you want to um, sign up for his text messages, become a VIP Silky so that you can be notified when his pop-up shop is going to be opening up. He does one. He tries to do one every month. And then look at those, those nice large hole beads. And what you can do is you can use a bead cap. You can get a small bead cap in there and use some soft flex, but you can also use, they're called bead aligners and they are from Tearcast and I have some and so I'll need to use those. Oh, and then I have some silver of the pipe chain and caps. But then look at what else. Look at these ceramic beads. With the ceramic beads, you can fit through the capture chain. This is pearlesque. Just stunning. And oh my goodness, look at these. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at all those colors. I don't know if he still has any of these. And of course, you know I'm going to save those seed beads. And then we have tassels. So cute. But look at that red. That is so pretty. Look at all those colors. So gorgeous. Love it. Absolutely love it. Look at all of this. So this was all from the June pop shop. Okay, then some other items he has is he has another chain. So I showed you the pearlesque. I showed you the capture chain. I showed you pipe chain. I showed you the pipe chain that is uh, pearlesque. And then I also show, showed you the knitted leather. Well, we also have the three needle. And he also has findings for the three needle. And you can fit two strands. If you, you know, you just prime it, just get it pointed. And you can fit two strands into his end caps that have these end caps are just so cool. They have the knitted wire on them. So you can easily, let's see. Oh, I'll show you. There was a project that we did for Summer Cap with Jesse James Beads, which you want to jump over to Jesse James Beads too because Summer Camp is open and Neelay will be another um, camp counselor again this year. So this, this one here, we had three strands and we used a barrel crimp end and just added beads and then just did a little bit of um, braiding. And isn't that just gorgeous? Look at that, so pretty. And he will be a counselor at summer camp again this year. And also too, I will be with the Beads of Courage. I will be with the Beads of Courage session. So excited. Okay, so something else that we have, I showed you the single strand in caps, but he also has also has a double strand that you can fit the two in which actually we did see those with the earrings then on top of that he has the triple strand you can fit three strands through let me go grab my project using three strands this one is probably one of my favorite projects ever it's a short necklace with the front closure and I absolutely love it. And I used three strands to make a tassel, which I didn't come up with, he came up with that. And then he has these little Terminator, they're Terminator ends and what they do is they just finish off without having a loop. 
So you can get those in two different sizes. So that one is the smaller size and I have the larger size. So the size, and I just showed you, is this one here. Oh my goodness. And then he has a larger size. Also too, oh I forgot, for his flat mesh, he has flat mesh too. And the flat mesh is a knitted, a knitted cord that is just flat. He has hollow mesh too. And so uh, we'll get deep diving into those as well. And we will, um, we'll be sure to do those in more projects too. So again, I'm so sorry for my voice and if it's choppy for me having to constantly stop and go. I just had to get this out because I just wanted everybody to see everything that I got and for you to jump on over to Silver Silk and More. So thank you for hanging out with me for a few minutes while I shared with you my orders from Silver Silk and More and also too for you to jump on over to the pop-up shop. And if you are not a VIP subscriber yet to Silver Silk and More so that you get notified when the pop-up shop is available, I will have the number or the link. I can't remember if I have a phone number or a link for you to sign up, but I will be sure to have everything in the description below. So please give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it. Use the link in the description to head on over to the Silver Silk and More YouTube channel so that you can see amazing, amazing projects using this incredible, incredible line of, of chains. Also to comment, I love to see what everybody has to say and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.